in today's video i am going to talk about the classification of nanomaterials nanomaterial is basically divided into four classes the first one is called zero dimension it includes nanoparticles and quantum dots the second one we call one dimensional such as nano wires nano tubes the third class of material is called two dimension which is a sheet the fourth class of material we call three dimension uh, it is uh, just like a compact shape or just like a cauliflower etc so let's get started uh, this class of material in detail the first one is zero dimensions zero dimension sometimes people says that zero dimension mean that uh, you even cannot measure its x-axis or y-axis or z-axis this is also somehow true but the real definition means that zero dimension are those class of materials whose all dimension are well below the nanoscale we know that nanoscale we explain that if we have a, a, a dimension of a material below 100 nanometer so we call that nanomaterial if one dimension is below 100 nanometer or two dimension or three but if you find one side which is below 100 nanometer so that we call nanomaterial and that scale we call nanoscale right so zero dimension mean that a material whose three sides like x-axis y-axis and z-axis are well below 100 nanometer those class of material we call zero dimension not a single side is beyond 100 nanometer or not a single side is beyond the nanoscales so those class of materials we call zero dimension whose all dimensions are well below the nanoscale right the example is nanoparticle or quantum dots right so this is the best example if you measure its x-axis y-axis and z-axis we have three dimension we know so all these through are well below 100 nanometer so this class of material we call zero dimension i hope it's very very clear the second class of uh, uh, nanomaterial we call one dimensional this means that uh, one dimensional means that uh, those kind of material whose for example this is uh, uh, this is uh, a nano wire for instance and if you look into this so the length is uh, beyond the nano scale this is in micro uh, meter the x axis for instance but if you look into y axis in z axis it is too small so this means that one dimensional are those kind of material whose one dimension is out of the range of nano scale this means that the x axis the x axis is greater than 100 nanometer and it is understood the rest two are well below the nano scale this means that the x-axis is this and the y and the z-axis are well below the 100 nanometer so those cl class of material we call a one dimension such as nano wires nano tubes and nano rods you see here look this wire is very very lengthy so one dimension is out of bound of the nano scale but the two dimension is well below the nano scale you see here you see these wires so the 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 the, the dia here uh, if you measure from the center so this means it is well below uh, the, uh, the 100 nanometer but look the length is very very lengthy so this means that it's one dimension is uh, out of the nanoscale and similarly in the nanotubes right now let's move to the two dimensional uh, nanomaterials this means that it is very clear from the name that the two dimensions are out of the bound of nano scale this is x axis and this is y axis like a plane but the z axis is upward or down so you see the thickness here this thickness is well below the 100 nanometer but the two the x for example in the y is greater than 100 nanometer right while the z axis is less than 100 nanometer this means that two dimensional are those kind of material whose two dimensions are out of bound of the nanoscale only one dimension is 
uh, well below the uh, nano scale. So this is we call two dimensional material, like a graphene nano sheet. You know graphene. I will give you the best example of graphene. You take the block of carbon here, a graphite here, block, right? A best example. And take a plastic. This is a plastic. This is the carbon black. Put this plastic here and press it. Then remove the plastic. When you remove the plastic, there will be layer of carbon here on the plastic surface, and that we call graphene layer. So very very thin layer. The thickness is very very small, but uh, it is growing along x-axis and along y-axis. So mean two dimensions are out of the uh, nano scale, a nano film or thin film, etc. Right. The last one is basically three-dimensional nanomaterial, and this is we call nanomaterial. But you cannot say here nanomaterial. This mean because it's uh, it's a bulk. This is we call bulk uh, three-dimensional material. Uh, this means that not a single dimension is bound to uh, nano scale. Those materials that are not bound to the nano scale, not a single. Mean this X, Y, and Z are well greater greater. Then this scale. So this means that uh, you even cannot call this three-dimensional nanomaterial. What you can call three-dimensional is a bulk material, right? That it is a bulk. So this means that uh, all dimensions are beyond the nano scale. You see here, like the cauliflower. I give the example cauliflower. Uh, we people also synthesize cauliflower using hydrothermal approach, uh, bulk powder, uh, like bundles of nano wires. If nano wires merge. Uh, uh, agglomerate this is called agglomerations agglomeration means that when nanoparticle combine to each other let make a big big one this is called agglomerations of nanoparticle you see this example you can see here you cannot even see uh, a single particle uh, here you see it's a agglomeration this one and this one you can include in three dimensional and this is also another the best example here uh, you see this is in micron size 10 micron this is a huge thing here so I think uh, this kind of stuff or or uh, three dimensional. So I hope everything is clear. If you have any problem, just put your question in the comments and we will have a discussion. Thanks for watching.